right friends welcome back to questions and answers for 26th week from 27th june to 3rd july look at the first one famous qawwali artist amzad sabri was killed recently and he belongs to pakistan he is the follower of sufi sect of islam and look into the next one who among the following attended board of governors meeting of aib finance minister attends the board of governors meeting please don't forget for multilateral lenders like aib or the world bank or asian development bank or international monetary fund the board of governors is represented by the finance minister from our country this thing please don't forget look into the next question under bharat net program government of india wants to connect 1 lakh gram panchayats with high speed broadband connectivity by march 2017 the total aim of the project is to connect 2 lakh 50000 gram panchayats with high speed broadband connectivity and the previous name of the project was national optical fiber network and now the new name is bharat net and two more things i would like to tell you first and the foremost is it will be implemented by bharat broadband network limited this is the government of india undertaking and it involves three organizations one is the bsnl and the other one is the power grid corporation of india the third one is railtel an arm of indian railways and the progress is not satisfactory and it appears that the government is trying to change the modalities for implementation of the program in view of the poor progress through bharat broadband network limited and another important aspect is you may ask where the funding will come from basically it is to be funded by universal service obligation fund and this is created through an amendment to indian telegraph act that means the telecom companies part of the income that means certain percentage of the income will be contributed to universal service obligation fund with an aim of giving universal service in telecom so this universal service obligation fund will fund this bharat net program India joined as a member of the allied missile technology control regime recently India joined MTCR and India became the 35th country previously there were 34 members and India became the 35th country and please don't forget NSG that is a nuclear suppliers group has got 48 members look into the next one scotland is the region in united kingdom in united kingdom there are four regions please look into this slide one region is scotland other one is england wales and then northern ireland and recently in brexit the people of scotland voted for remaining in european union that's why there may be voices for separation of scotland from united kingdom in the near future so if someone talks about scotland it is a part of united kingdom and i would like to tell you few more points here one is the catalonia region this is in spain please look into this slide catalonia region is opting for independence from spain the famous city of barcelona is situated in catalonia region then crimea this is the region annexed by russia because of which the relations between russia and west got strained and in fact sanctions were imposed by west in certain matters on russia and if someone talks about crimea this was the region in ukraine and annexed by russia recently look into the next one lionel messi announced retirement from international football and he belongs to argentina here i would like to tell you few points he announced after argentina's loss to chile in 2016 copa america final and he got olympic gold medal in 2008 and individual honor is world cup golden ball in 2014 
and the team has got the Olympic gold medal in 2008 and FIFA World Cup he participated in 15 matches and scored 5 goals and he is the highest goal scorer for Argentina and he is the chief playmaker for football club Barcelona and at the same time he is the global brand ambassador for Tata Motors and Tata Motors stated that he will continue as global brand ambassador NASA's spacecraft Juno is to probe Jupiter Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system please don't forget the average temperature on top of the clouds is Minus 145 degrees centigrade, and if someone talks about uh, Juno spacecraft, that is to explore uh, Jupiter, and it was uh, launched by NASA. And here, I would like to tell you some uh, missions of uh, various uh, space organizations. One is the Mars Orbiter mission. Mom, all of you are familiar with this, and uh, here. This is to explore Mars launched by ISRO Indian Space Research Organization then Rosetta mission this was launched by European Space Agency this is to probe comet and New Horizons mission this is by NASA basically the purpose is to probe the dwarf planet Pluto not only that to probe Kuiper belt Kuiper belt is the belt beyond Neptune and then voyager mission this is to probe uranus neptune and interstellar space what is meant by interstellar space interstellar space is the space between various stars and nasa is behind this voyager mission then cassini huygens this is to probe saturn it is the joint initiative of esa nasa and asi and juno just now what we have discussed is the initiative of nasa to probe the largest planet in the solar system that is jupiter right so these missions please don't forget center notified amended monetary policy committee the number of members are six last week we discussed in news capsule please listen to it nppa has fixed or revised ceiling prices of 45 formulations of certain drugs under drugs price control amendment order 2016 and retail price of 12 formulations under drug price control order of 2013 nppa is the authority vested with controlling drug prices and it is under the department of pharmaceuticals ministry of chemicals and fertilizers Sujay Bose was appointed as a chief executive officer of NIIF and at present he is working with IFC IFC is World Bank Arm International Finance Corporation and you may ask what is NIIF NIIF is going to be India's first sovereign wealth fund that is a national investment and infrastructure fund the basic aim is to finance infrastructure projects in the country and initial corpus will be rupees 40000 crores out of which central government will contribute rupees 20000 crore and in this government's shareholding will be limited to 49% please don't forget name the state government which launched kalinga shiksha sathi yojana what is the purpose of this the purpose of this is to provide education loan at 1% interest a year to students undergoing higher education the state government which launched this is odisha and at the same time please don't forget the state government also earmarked rupees 500 crores for this project so kalinga shiksha sathi yojana is to provide low cost loans to students pursuing higher education gibraltar is the overseas territory of united kingdom united kingdom has got several overseas territories and this territory is very important this is bordering spain please look into this slide so gibraltar is the area which is bordering spain now as the uk voted for exit from european union then the 
Gibraltar's common border with Spain will be under question. That means Gibraltar has got a land boundary only with Spain. If UK exits from European Union, as it is going to be inevitable, maybe within 2-3 years, then what will happen to Gibraltar because it has got land boundary only with Spain. So far, with the European Union, this single market is there. So, therefore, till date there is no problem. But once UK exits from European Union, then Gibraltar may face some difficulties because of its common border only with Spain. Right? Look into the next one that is subsequent to Brexit, stocks Europe 600, then S&P Dow Jones indices, then Nasdaq, Nasdaq is the stock exchange based in New York, please don't forget, then DAX, DAX is the stock exchange pertaining to Germany, Frankfurt based, then FTSE 100 index, this FTSE index or FTSE is pertaining to London Stock Exchange, please don't forget. They lost heavily, ranging from 2% to 8%. And here, FTSE 100 is the stock index of 100 companies traded in London Stock Exchange. Similar to Sensex of Bombay Stock Exchange and Nifty of National Stock Exchange. If someone talks about the FTSE or FTSE 100, it is the stock index of 100 companies trading in London Stock Exchange. Right? So, if someone talks about the Nasdaq, it is in New York. Similarly, New York Stock Exchange, then London Stock Exchange. About these things, please don't forget. During the visit of the Prime Minister to United States of America, United States government handed over Sri Puranthan Ganesha and 200 other stolen Indian artifacts to India. And this Sri Puranthan Ganesha belongs to the era of Cholas, please don't forget. National Register of Citizens pertains to Assam and several citizens from Bangladesh migrated illegally to Assam. And this National Register of Citizens is basically to identify illegal migrants who migrated from Bangladesh to Assam since 1971. And this final updated National Register of Citizens is to be completed by 1st January 2016 as per the Supreme Court orders, but it is yet to be completed. Look into the next one, Assam stated that border with Bangladesh will be sealed within two years. India-Bangladesh border stretches to 4096 kilometers and out of this 4096 kilometers, maximum border falls with West Bengal and the five states which have border with Bangladesh are West Bengal, then Tripura, then Meghalaya, then Assam and then Mizoram. So, these five states have got the border with Bangladesh and infiltration of Bangladesh is illegally to India is the biggest problem. Look into the next one. Westinghouse Electric Company will install six nuclear power reactors in India and Westinghouse belongs to United States of America and Westinghouse is the world leader in operating nuclear power plants and majority shareholder is Toshiba in Westinghouse and please don't forget Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited, Government of India Enterprise operates nuclear power reactors in our country. Which of the following is the unlisted subsidiary of State Bank of India? State Bank of India has got five subsidiaries. All of you are well aware. And out of five subsidiaries, two subsidiaries are fully owned by State Bank of India. The fully owned subsidiaries are State Bank of Hyderabad and State Bank of Patiala. As 100% shareholding is by State Bank of India, 
then listing of shares does not arise. So, the two subsidiaries of State Bank of India, which are unlisted entities, are State Bank of Hyderabad and State Bank of Patiala, as these two are 100 percent owned by State Bank of India, and the remaining three, that is State Bank of Bikaneer and Jaipur, State Bank of Travancore, State Bank of Mysore, they are listed companies and subsequent to the decision of a merger, the share values of these three subsidiaries increased in recent times. In India, financial stability report is released by Reserve Bank of India and Reserve Bank of India releases financial stability report twice in a year and remaining things we discussed under news capsule, please listen to it. N.S. Vishwanathan was appointed as the Deputy Governor of Reserve Bank of India. He replaces H.R. Khan and Reserve Bank of India has got four Deputy Governors. And as per Reserve Bank of India Act, Reserve Bank can have only one Governor and four Deputy Governors. The four Deputy Governors at present are Gandhi and N.S. Vishwanathan. They are from within RBI cadre. SS Mundra is commercial banker and Vurjit Patel, he is a monetary policy expert. And prior to the appointment, NS Vishwanathan was executive director with the Reserve Bank of India. And there is a change in the selection process of RPA deputy governor. Previously, the panel to select deputy governors was headed by RBA governor. But now, these recommendations to select Deputy Governor are made for the first time by Financial Sector Regulatory Appointments Search Committee headed by the Cabinet Secretary. And this is approved by Appointments Committee of Cabinet headed by the Prime Minister. So, in the appointment of Deputy Governor, the powers of RBA Governor have been reduced as now it is recommended by a panel headed by the Cabinet Secretary. Look into the next one, Pink Bollworm developed resistance to BT technology, name the crop we are talking about, the crop is cotton. Recent times the crop is being destroyed because of a Pink Bollworm and initially it was thought that BT cotton will not be affected by pink bollworm, but this started developing resistance in recent times. So, the crop we are talking about is cotton. Look into the next one. Government accepted the recommendations of 7th Central Pay Commission. These are effective from 1st January 2016. Remaining details we have discussed in news capsule. Please listen to it. Ataturk International Airport is in the news recently because of a suicide bomb attack where more than 40 people were killed. Recently, a suicide bomb attack by suspected IS militants killed more than 40 people at Ataturk International Airport and this is situated in Istanbul city, the largest city of Turkey. Look into the next one. The second BRICS Youth Summit was held in Gauhati and the theme for this year is Youth as a Bridge for Intra-BRICS Exchanges. The main focus is on enhanced people-to-people -people contacts among the BRICS countries. ODIs, that means Offshore Derivative Instruments issued by foreign portfolio investors have to comply Indian Know Your Customer and Anti-Money Laundering Norms from 1st July 2016 and ODI means Offshore Derivative Instruments and these are also known as the Participatory Notes. And basically, the stipulations are to control suspected round tripping of black money. And if you want more about it, please listen to the lecture part of 23rd week. Please look into this slide. Foreign portfolio investors normally invest in Indian stock market and participatory note holders can also invest in Indian stock market and participatory notes 
are issued by foreign portfolio investors and the details of participatory notes so far are not known to the Indian authorities like SEBI and from now onwards know your customer norms are mandatory for participatory note holders or offshore derivative instruments holders. Please listen to 23rd week lecture part if you want more. Mis-selling is quite common in insurance. What is meant by mis-selling? Mis-selling is nothing but deliberate sale of a product without informing the actual facts. That means if you are selling a product with the misrepresentation of facts, then that is known as a mis-selling. And mis-selling is quite common in insurance. Hit Refresh is the book written by Sacha Nadella. It is yet to be released. The CEO of Microsoft, Sacha Nadella, is writing a book and it will be released in 2017. And it is a book about change as stated by Sacha Nadella. And it explores how people, organizations, and societies have to transform. Online Complaint Redressal System. You are investing in stock market and you are purchasing some shares by opening DMAT accounts. You have some complaint and you can register your complaint through scores. What is the scores? SEBI Complaints Redress System. So, SEBI Complaints Redress System is the scores and if someone talks about the scores, that is the initiative of Securities and Exchange Board of India. And recently, SEBI barred six firms as they could not comply with the scores. Permanent Court of Arbitration is situated in The Hague and The Hague is in Netherlands and the permanent court of arbitration is going to give its verdict on the dispute in South China Sea. Please don't forget the dispute in South China Sea is between China and Philippines. This permanent court of arbitration is going to deliver its verdict on July 12. Look into the next one. IMF says that Juche Bank AG may be the biggest contributor to systemic risk among the largest lenders. This Juch Bank AG belongs to Germany and please don't forget there are 30 global systemically important banks. Global systemically important banks means if the failure of any of these banks is there, then what will happen? It will have a much wider risk in the global perspective. That means if a bank fails, it will have wider ramifications with risks to several countries and several establishments. That's why they are designated as global systemically important banks and top three at global systemic risk as felt by International Monetary Fund or Germany's Deutsche Bank, then HSBC of UK and Credit Suisse of Switzerland. And please don't forget, in India also, we have two domestic systemically important banks. They are State Bank of India and ICICI Bank. Please don't forget, globally, there are 30 global systemically important banks. And in India, we have two domestic systemically important banks. CPI IW, that is industrial workers, jumps to 6.59% in May 2016. And CPI IW is released by Labor Bureau. Please don't forget, I have given here the organizations which release certain indices GDP, CPI, IIP by CSO. Office of the Economic Advisor releases Wholesale Price Index and Index of Core Industries. Labor Bureau, that is under the Ministry of Labor, releases CPI for industrial workers, CPI for agricultural laborers, CPI for rural laborers. Second unit of Kudankulam nuclear power plant is going to start operations in July. It is built with the assistance of Russia, please don't forget. And someone talks about NPCIL. NPCIL is the operator under the Department of Atomic Energy and 
NPCIL is the organization which operates various nuclear power reactors in the country. Not only that, before commissioning any nuclear power reactor, then Atomic Energy Regulatory Board's approval is a must. AERB's approval is to be taken. Similarly, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change approval is also necessary before commissioning any nuclear power reactor. NASA's Juno spacecraft we have just now discussed. NASA's Juno spacecraft entered the magnetosphere of the planet Jupiter. Basically, Juno is to probe Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system, and Juno will orbit around Jupiter from July 4. Look into the next one. Name the state where judges resorted to mass casual leave and agitation. The state we are talking about is Telangana. This is with regard to the bifurcation issue between Andhra Pradesh and Telangana. Rosetta spacecraft will crash land on Comet 67P. We have just now discussed Rosetta spacecraft is to explore Comet and this Comet 67P it is exploring and finally it will crash land on Comet 67P on 30th September ending its mission. And Rosetta mission is the initiative of European Space Agency. Name the country which launched a new generation space rocket Long March 7. This Long March series, if someone asks this is the initiative of China at the same time, I would like to tell you Vega spacecraft is the initiative of European Space Agency. And this Long March spacecraft will use a new type of fuel which is said to be more environment friendly and its payload is also going to be much much higher in comparison to our PSLV. Look into the next one. In the experiments with the self-driving cars, first death occurred when the brakes did not activate this occurred in United States of America and this self-driving car on autopilot mode was built by Tesla Motors. Tesla Motors was promoted by Elon Musk. Look into the next one. 28 member European Union extended economic sanctions targeting specific sectors of the economy until January 31, 2017. Name the country we are talking about. The country is Russia. European Union extended the sanctions targeting oil, financial and defense sectors. Basically, as Russia annexed Crimea from Ukraine. And at the same time, Russia also extended the embargo on import of food items from European Union till the end of 2017. A new generation medium range surface to air missile was successfully test fired from integrated test range off Odisha coast. And this is jointly developed by India and Israel. The organizations associated with it are DRDO from India and Israel Aerospace Industries. And if someone talks about MRSAM, that is medium range surface to air missile, that is the joint venture of DRDO and Israel. And it is capable of intercepting incoming aerial threats up to a range of 70 kilometers. And the project cost is around rupees 10,000 crore, out of which DRDO handled around rupees 3,000 crore and Israeli firm Israel Aerospace Industries rupees 7,000 crore. Sam Fermin Festival is famous in Spain. Please look into this slide. It is the running of the bulls and it created controversy as Barack Obama recently decided to attend it and animal rights activists or against Barack Obama attending this San Fermin festival. This is famous in Spain. Look into the next one. SBI signed the shareholders agreement with Reliance Industries Limited for establishment of payments bank. And please don't forget in payments banks, 
the universal bank can have maximum share holding of up to 30 percent and the state bank of india signed shareholders agreement to have 30 percent stake in the payments bank to be promoted by reliance industries limited and please don't forget payment banks and small finance banks are also known as the differential banks or nick banks and they are different from universal banks like state bank of india icic bank etc and rbi gave licenses to 11 entities to start payments banks however three have withdrawn the firms with have withdrawn are cholamandalam investment and finance company limited tech mahindra and sun pharmaceuticals right these three firms have withdrawn and look into the last question india and cyprus finalized new india cyprus double taxation avoidance agreement and this source based taxation on capital gains will come into force for the investments made from 1st april 2017 almost on the similar lines which was signed between India and Mauritius. Right? So, with this, let us conclude the questions and answers. Please do listen to news capsules every week. Right, friends, with this, let us conclude the questions and answers. Have a nice day. Thank you.